Hello right, folks. First blood to Nicholas, we're at Bears Lake, inverting on Trent. And uh, as you can see, Nick's got a lovely tench on there, on the hot fish. There you go, just in the bag. Nice one, mate. Get it on the mat and have a good look. Good angling. First fish of the uh, session down at Bears Lake. It's uh, Thursday afternoon, well, sorry, Thursday morning. Just gone 20 past 11. Absolutely been chucking it down since early hours. But um, this little tinker's come for a munch. And what was that on the hot fish, mate? That was on the hot fish, yes, with uh, this uh, pop up snowman combination. Lovely. As always. Uh, not the quarry we were after, but nevertheless, very welcome. That's it, mate. And uh, absolute. Each of the fish. Yeah, it's uh, looking at the camera from my side. There's a real nice two-tone effect just towards the tail. But um, went way, but yeah, but I should say it's a good six, seven pound, maybe a bit bigger. Possibly. But uh, um, you can see it's been spawning. I don't know if Matt wants to zoom in, but you can see it's battle scars. Oh yeah, he's a little, little warrior that one, mate. But, um, very welcome. Brilliant stuff. On the, uh, my all-time favourite top fish. Great stuff. Let's hope it's the first of many. Good angry, mate. Bad luck. Well impressed. Okay, we'll get it weighed and put it back and uh, get the rod back out. It weren't happening in the mainstream, so Mr. Rogers uh, sneaked off with uh, the BF7, the new one that we're field testing on this session down Bears Lake, and uh, this is the prize. How long was it in the water, mate? Uh, literally about 10 minutes, because I've done my favourite style of fishing, which is stalking. Great stuff. Absolutely ideal down in deep margins. Tell you what, lovely scale pattern towards the tail. Absolutely stunning. Obviously not the best looker in terms of its mouth. No, it's not. Else. They're all like this down here. Yes. Yeah. Dark colour, if I'll just turn it around. Absolutely, uh, piddling in the rain again, folks. But, uh, who cares? We're out here doing it. Real dark colour on this one. You can see I'm using a lucky mat. So you should. Yep. That's advice to everybody. <laughs> Right, uh, scrap of this one is. Yeah, it's a shame about the mouth on this one, isn't it? Yeah, I think you've nicknamed this the snub nose, or as Matt said, pipe. <laughs> the pipe smoker. <laughs> yeah, what a shame that is, but uh, apart from that, it's a stunning looking fish. Not one of the biggest fish in here. No, no. Happy as Larry. Well done, mate. And the first one on a new bait as well on his first outing. Stalking. No uh, very simple tactics. No lead, nothing. Just basically free line. Free line, wasn't it? Yeah. Brilliant stuff, mate. And uh, I've had a peep down where you were fishing and it looks good for another bite. So I'll, uh, without further ado, let you carry on, get it back in there, get the rod back in, mate. As you can see, it's peeing down as well. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely teaming it down. But uh, who cares, mate? Good angling, mate. Get the rod back out and hopefully I'll have another one on the camera shortly. Absolutely piddling it down again, but uh, he sneaked off early hours this morning, about half uh, four, five o'clock, with the uh, the new one we're testing, BF7, and he's winkled this one out. Oh, okay. So I lost one. Uh, Sorry to 
like a lipstick mark. Yep. So it's Tango, we'll know, we'll know what he's fishing in the future. Nice one, mate. You haven't weighed it yet, but it's certainly a double. Sure is. Another one on the BF7, stalk in trite. If, if your rods are there, sitting motionless, get round the lake, do a bit of stalking. That's it, mate. Make it happen, and you haven't had two fish in there. Uh, otherwise, it would have been uh, a miserable session, really, with the weather and uh, a little tinker. But um, good hanging, mate, and uh, hopefully we can do it all again next week. Yeah. Until next time. Thanks, guys. Tide lines. Well, folks, in a real snuggy area of bears like. You just wouldn't get a bite in the water here in the rods, no way. But, uh, I'm trying to film some carp. carp. Every now and then there's a few big black shapes coming through. They're not all carp. There's a lot of tension in this lake as well, but um, it's a bit awkward at times because uh, I've had another downpour and um, when, the, uh, when the rain falls off the trees it causes a ripple on the water. So. Down to the corner there. Just, uh, yeah. Oh, I've got him, mate. It's a nice one. If you're not catching, you want to walk around and meet him. He's got a big paddle on him. Absolutely brilliant to watch. Spend hours just watching him. Fascinating, mate. He is. He is coming around. It's a nice fish that is. This is also a favourite tournament of two of the biggest residents in the uh, lake. Yeah, Nick's been fishing this over the last uh, two months. This is only my second trip down here. And uh, Nick's been in here on a regular basis and he's seen some proper whackers. There's a few more at the back there. Yeah, just got him there. Right. Try and get a bit more footage later on, folks. Catch you back. Managed to get a bit closer now. It's just like a maze of trees where I am, and these carp are just circling basically round underneath these trees and back out into the open water, and back out into this little gravel patch. It's really interesting watching them. Hopefully, they'll be another one in a minute. Nick's just gone back to get uh, some particles, some of our special blend seed mix and uh, a few golden grains.
which will obviously be uh, really visible on the uh, the bottom. So uh, that'll be interesting if you can get one or two of these just having a scoff. Be good footage anyway. That's a big fish. That mirror, I've got a mirror in it. See him. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. That's a scar. That's a scar fish. Scar mirror. There we go. Scar mirror. Oh, There's a right big kipper down here. Look at that one, Mick. Look at this one here in the middle. Look at that one. That's a big fish. Look at this one. That's a big 20, those. There's every frigging carp in the lake under this tree. Yeah. He's on camera, mate. <laughs> yeah, there's the scar mirror. It's come back. It's right in the middle, see him? Yeah. That's a big fish, though. What did Paul reckon that went? The last time he come out? No, he said it was 27. And that's a big 20. Could be 40 hours. Could be 30 hours. No, it's very hard. It's very hard to tell, but... The there's fish everywhere now. That's a common that's come through. I could sit here all day and feed these. There's the scar mirror, I think, in the middle. Well, there's the proof, folks. I just hope the footage uh, lives up to what I'm what stands up to what I'm uh, filming here. But uh, that's the proof in the pudding. If you can make it out, that there's some nice fishing bears, like. Get yourself down to Burton on Trent. <laughs>